Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Alicia, if this is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. Okay, this video is actually really, really fun. I really enjoyed coming up with this list, and no one asked for it specifically, but if you haven't been on like Instagram or TikTok, and I actually am gonna start doing, posting them on shorts here now, because I feel like when I actually get around to YouTube posting the outfit, it's sold out. So I have been doing a lot of styling reels on Instagram and TikTok because I finally feel like I am getting my sense of style back. It left me. <laughs> it left me when Alexander was first born. I think it was because I was in between, I was in between sizes. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Like There was a lot of stuff going on style-wise for me, but now that I feel like I have my niche, I've been on it with the, with the outfits. Like I've been coming up with them in my head i have a whole notes in my phone of just random outfits that i think i can put together so i've been having fun with it uh, i say all that to say there have been a lot of comments when i'm posting these reels of i don't know where to start styling i don't even know what i have in my closet i'm about to start my closet over so i figured that today would be a good day to just basically tell you guys i have 10 10 essentials on things to start with if you are starting your closet over if you realize the style that i had in 2018 or 2019 is not the style that i have now which for me that's the case i think that these essentials will help you build the wardrobe and the style that you're looking for i only have 10 i'm going to go through all 10 of them i'll try to pop up some pictures here and there to give you guys some kind of inspiration and kind of tell you why i feel like they should be basically a closet basic essential let's get into it i almost forgot let's do a quick round robin i already know i'm gonna get questions on my hat my hat is from my collections live and fearless collection this is a psl like pumpkin spice latte psl hat um we did one round of these and i want to say they sold out in like three or four days so i did another round and i have quite a few left over so get them while you can once they're gone i'm not going to restock them love it it has like the linen at the top and then this cute print at the brim all of my jewelry of course is my own this is a white shirt that i got from h&m i love their white button downs they're one of the they're like the go-to that i like to shop for button downs what else pressies i'll link them below my makeup look I'll link that below. I think that's it. I know I'm gonna get questions on this wardrobe rack. Amazon, I think, yeah, Amazon and then the shelf. I've linked both of these several times, but I realized that for some people, this is your first video. So it's very rude for me to say, go find it somewhere else. So I'll make sure that I link this wardrobe rack and then the shelf that has some of my accessories on there. I think that's it. Okay, now let's get into the video. Okay, I'm just gonna go and order the way that I have them on my phone. First things first. Undergarments. Undergarments matter. They can literally make or break how you look in a outfit. I mean panties, I mean bra, Spanx, undergarments, whatever you put underneath your clothes definitely makes or breaks your outfit. If you have a fupa, I would suggest doing mid-rise or high-rise panties. That way it sucks in, your panties suck in, and whatever pants you have on. I would recommend getting an accurate bra fitting because if it's too tight, you can have your you know back fat hanging over. If it's too loose, it might be causing your girls to sag a little bit. So definitely quality undergarments. I'm not saying they have to be expensive. I personally choose to spend the bulk of my money buying quality bras because I keep them for a while. So I like to shop at Soma, I like Third Love, and I like Victoria's Secret now that they've stopped making everything with a 10 inches of padding because <laughs> it was annoying. So I invest more in my bras and my panties. I don't. Why? Because I throw my panties away every six months. I don't know if you should. I, I do. I feel like I read that somewhere or what but I throw them away every six months also when me and William travel if I'm not able to wash my undergarments before we leave I le I throw them in the trash at the hotel I'm not putting that funk in my closet in my suitcase zipping it up and putting it on a pressurized flight for hours trash it trash it's it's too close down there for me it's, no 
So I charge mine every six months. So I do the five for 20 at Target, the five for 30 or something that they have at Victoria's Secret, or the high rise panties I've been getting from Amazon because I go through them six months. I just, mm -mm. January and December is when I stock up. No, July and December is when I stock up on all of my undergarments, <laughs> on all of my panties. But the point is you want good quality undergarments and you want ones that actually fit. Having a too tight bra can make your shirt look like it's not your size, okay? Having the wrong undergarments makes it look like you have a bigger fupa than you actually do or makes it look like you have a fupa when you don't. Undergarments definitely make or break. So invest in some good quality undergarments. All right, next up, this is a basic. Everybody should have this in their closet. I don't care what style you're going for. That's a black blazer. A, bla a black blazer that you can dress up with joggers, okay? A black blazer that you can dress down with joggers. A black blazer that you can dress up with some jeans or a dress or whatever. A black blazer says classic, it says timeless, and it, it's basically, I like it because it's a blank canvas. Even though it's black, it is a blank canvas and you can do whatever you wanna do with a black blazer. Definitely think that a black blazer should be in someone's closet if you are not a big blazer person you're not really sure um if you're going to love it please go shop at the thrift store in the men's section that is a one time that is the one place where i tell people oh i don't know what kind of blazer just go look in the men's section find a blazer if it's a little bit too big go and get it tailored i get my blazers from the men's sections and i get them tailored and the most i have ever paid for a tailor to tailor my blazer has been $35. And that's because I was trying to find someone new and I just went and I didn't realize how much she was charging until I got ready to check out. She said $45. I said, ma'am, I brought a blazer and a pair of pants. How much is a hint? She's like, oh, pants are 10, blazer's 35. They got only pay $3 for the blazer. So I was still only out. 35 bucks which in 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 terms of a good quality blazer that is really good so black blazer if you were unsure if you like blazers or what kind of blazer you want go to the men's section at your thrift store all right next up in our closet refresh basic essentials is a beige top coat if you're unsure what a top coat is it's just a beige long coat for so long i was like what's the difference between a jacket and a coat i I'm not a fashion person. I like what I like. I don't like what I don't like. William had to explain to me that a jacket is a short, is short, and then a coat is long. <laughs> so you want a beige coat. The reason why I don't say black and the reason why I don't say gray is because I feel like beige is that color that you can intertwine with black and it still looks chic. You can intertwine with gray and it still looks chic. Brown, it's one of those universal coats that I feel like you can wear with any color and it still elevates whatever look that you have. I like to shop for coats, especially if we're in the South, right? So we don't need like a heavy, heavy coat. There are plenty of places you can get one. So if you're doing a low end, they've got misguided, you've got pretty little thing, you've got boohoo, um, you've got what else for mitts for a low. I would say those for a low. A mid-range, so anywhere between the $75 to $100 range, you have H&M, depending on what you have at ASOS, what you can find. You have a new store that I've been shopping at re recently. I saw it first. Um, Zara, depending on what Zara decides to do, what season. And then you have the higher end coats. You're looking at your larger department stores, your Nordstrom's, your Macy's, your Saks. Those are the higher end where you're investing more money um, into a good quality top coat. Um, and those you probably could last for years before you have to replace. The lower ones, I would say anywhere between like three or four or five years, mid range, five to seven. And then if you really keep up with your pieces and you have a good a good coat you can keep it for years i have a gray coat that i got from nordstrom it's by top shop i had i got that coat in 2000 it was pre-covid 18 2018 and that coat still looks stellar i go get it dry cleaned every couple of months 
nice keep it nice and preserved when I'm not uh, wearing it so I keep it um, folded when it's not in season and then just you know keep it nice and preserved and it's lasted it's 2018 so we are what is that five years and counting and it's showing no signs of like wear and tear so yeah a good quality top coat if you don't have one I would start with beige okay number four closet refresh essentials is a white button down shirt now y'all know I wasn't gonna come on here and not give you guys a, a white button down I did a whole video a whole video of how to style a white button down a white button down and a white v-neck I would say for a closet refresh I would do a white button down because I feel like it's more classic and timeless than a white v-neck also it's really hard to find a good quality white t-shirt that will last you and I'm trying to give you guys pieces that are going to last for years it's really hard to find a good quality white v-neck that's going to last for years right so I would say a white button down your H&M's your Zara's um, Topshop has a good selection of white and button downs Express has really good white button downs um who else I have just certain places that I like to shop you want a good white button down like the one I have on right now you can dress it up I have on this nice fedora I do have on I'm not gonna get my legs up that high I got on a nice pair of jeans you can dress it up with a skirt with a little slip dress if you want to do like the skirt top illusion there's just so many different ways that you can do a white button down how many do I have we're not talking about me all right next up on closet refresh essentials is quality denim if you are just starting out I would say at least two to three pairs of good jeans a light color a dark color and then either a gray or a black pair of jeans your budget it just depends on your budget lower end Bershka has some really good quality denim um, you can buy it directly on their website or ASO sells Bershka who else on the lower end? Um, I mean like good quality. H&M depending. H&M uh, is kind of. If you go to H&M don't get ones that say $19.99. Because they don't. They're not quality. You're looking at like the $30 or $40 range denim for H&M. Um, who else in the lower range? Y'all know me. Y'all know my favorite. Abercrombie will always be one of my favorite. Old Navy also has good quality denim, especially if you're in like the curvy line. I did a video on quality denim for curvy girls. I will link that in the description box. And it gave, basically gives you a ton of different brands that my memory can't remember right now as I'm shooting this video. But good quality denim. And you want to make sure that you're getting denim, like I said, for your body shape. If you are, um, depending on your body shape, you might be okay with a mid-rise. You might need a high-rise. I don't like it when women, um, or it, it bothers me when women try to fit into a size and you're clearly not that size, but you're like, oh no, I want to fit into, girl breathe and get a 12 okay because I was you I was like no I'm gonna fit in this size 8 because I was a size 8 last year breathe and get a 10 okay because who cares about what size you are wearing if you're uncomfortable we can see that you're uncomfortable we can see that you can barely breathe we can see that you really want another drink but you physically can't put another drink in them tight jeans just get the jeans for your size Okay, and to hell with whoever says you can't be double digits. I don't care. Okay, I'm, I'm going to wear my 12s. I'm not about to stress myself to get in this size 8 or to get in this size 10 when I know I'm a 12. Get in your 12s and be comfortable in your 12s or 10s or 6s, whatever. Get the size that you're comfortable in. Okay, moving right along. Okay, minor intermission when my battery had to charge. So let's keep moving on. We had five, now we're gonna do the other five. So next up is a pair of classic white sneakers. Before you say it, mules is not on this list because mules are not for everybody's wardrobe. For example, Kyosha, you guys know her. She hates mules. 
cannot stand them. However, she does have a, a pair of classic white shoes. My sisters don't understand my love for mules. They're just like, why are you wearing house shoes outside? However, they have a pair of classic white sneakers. So mules is not for everybody's closet, everybody's taste, but a classic pair of white sneakers. Dress it up, dress it down, be cash, be comfort, be cute all the things. Moving right along. So got a pair of classic white sneakers. Next up while we're on the subject of shoes is a good pair of heels. You are probably like me. I am not a heels girl. I love a good heel with a boot. I love a good block heel but like a classic pump. I'm just not that kind of girl. You would think that I would be because I'm short or I feel that I'm short but heels has just never been something that I've been interested in. However, there are situations where I have to dress up. And I say this because most of the time the situations involve something that William has engaged himself in. So where I have to dress up, I have to have on a nice dress and I have to have on a good timeless shoe. And in those cases, I need a good classic black. I've been I've just been doing black cuz either black or nude pump that will go good with absolutely any other dress that you decide to pull from your closet. Good pair of classic pumps. They don't have to be expensive. Um, Jessica Simpson, uh, who else? Um, Steve Madden, Sam Edelman, Vince Camuto, all these different good brands have a nice 100 to 150 dollar pump that will be great for when the occasion calls for it and now if you're a heels girl you probably already have all the heels but if you're like me and you literally only wear pumps when the occasion calls for it those are a good pair of pumps to have in your closet next up we're around the subject of pumps and being able to go somewhere and that is i mean i feel like everybody already has this in their closet but it might look differently for other people and that is a little black dress and what i mean by a little black dress i mean that go-to dress that you know you can pull out if you are pressed for time and you need to go somewhere that involves you wearing a nice dress um i have probably about four or five like i said i only have to pull these things out when william it has involved himself in something in the city and now I have to go and smile. Okay. <laughs> but there are about four or five dresses that I know that I can go to, pull out, that I can wear with these pumps and I don't have to be stressed. I'm not running all around Birmingham trying to find the perfect dress. I'm not ordering a thousand and one things offline hoping that they work. It's this occasion calls for a little black dress. And so I have a couple of options. Two of them are actually black because I just, once again, black will always be timeless for me, especially when you are trying to go somewhere. You're not really sure what the attire calls for. You're not really sure what other people are going to be wearing. Just wear a nice black dress. Um, but like I said, that go-to dress that you know you can put on that works for any type of occasion or any type of attire if you don't have a little black dress i would start off with a little black dress and when i mean little i have a midi dress so most of my dresses just because based on my body type my dresses i like for them to fall between my knees and my ankles it gives some illusion it makes me look taller and i think that's what i like so I like to do midi dresses. I don't really do mini dresses because the way that these thighs set up, they don't eat any fabric that's in a mini dress. Maxi dresses have a tendency to make me look shorter than what I would like to be. So the only time you're really gonna see me wear a maxi dress is when I'm somewhere tropical. Uh, other than that, I really like to stick to midi style dresses and also midi style skirts. Little black dress. Okay. Number nine in our closet, closet refreshed essentials is you need a classic bag you need a classic bag that you can pair with anything so anything black anything uh beige anything you want um i am on a hunt for a classic black bag I'll tell you what i want but that's not what i'm gonna get i want a black celine bag that's what i want if somebody else was buying it for me, I would love a black classic Chanel flap. But 
I'm not buying that for myself and I probably no one's probably gonna buy it for me <laughs> so then what I want like what I am ready to buy is like a classic Celine bag like when I think of classic I think of something medium size not something too big not something too small just be able to carry your purse your wallet I mean, not your purse your phone your wallet some essentials you can dress it up like if you're going out to an event you can dress it down if you're going something more casual it's like I said it's classic and it's timeless I happen to love black when we're talking about classic and timeless bags however you can go with a nice beige or a deep tote something like that but you want to be able to find you want to have that piece in your bag in your closet that says regardless of what I'm wearing to this nice event I know that I can pull this back and it's going to go with anything that I put together okay and then the last one which is not really a specific item and I would say have fun when you're deciding what you're gonna wear, how your style is gonna get, what essentials you need to be in. I would have fun. I feel like everybody is trying to be, I feel like everybody is a style influencer. Everybody's a fashion influencer. Everybody wants to tell you what to wear this and what to wear that and how you couldn't wear this, how you shouldn't wear that. And I think in this era that we're living in, I would say have fun, but then more importantly, just stay true to yourself. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll speak we're gonna take me for example I was fresh um, as a mom as a newborn and I'm trying to decide what my style is gonna be and I don't think you've seen it because I'm pretty sure I did not post the video and I decided hmm I think I want to do a color everybody's talking about color everybody's, everybody's talking about melanin and the gorgeous color that, and so I went online to two different stores mind you I went to H&M and then I went online to PLT and I got, I want to say I ordered about six, seven hundred dollars worth of clothes. All of them were color. And I was like, I'm gonna get into color. I'm gonna be that color girl. I'm gonna get out of this neutrals. I'm gonna color because everybody wants. Everybody's talking about color, 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 color. Y'all, I got those packages. Were the clothes cute? Absolutely, the clothes were absolutely cute. But I guess in my mind. I knew I wasn't going to wear them because normally the way that it works is as soon as I get a package, I will try it on. If it works, I'm immediately going to put it in William's card to tell him to take it to a 24 hour cleaner or depending on the fabric, I'm going to wash it. I like to have my clothes dry clean initially because I don't want the washing machine to mess up how it, I'm supposed to expect it to look. So I like to have William take them to the dry cleaners. I didn't do that with both of these packages. I was like, oh, I tried them on. I was like, this is cute. This is cute. I want to say I order those clothes mid-September. Tell me why mid-October they were still sitting in those bags. I had not worn them. I had taken them out. I was it's me and William were like going or I'm hanging out with girls and all this kind of stuff and going out running errands. I would try the clothes on and I'd be like, eh, eh, I don't really feel like doing that right now. And I'd put it back in the thing. Or I'd try it on, eh, I don't really feel like wearing color and I'd put it back. And I never wore, I had like 15 pieces. I never wore a single item in there. And that was my wake up call. Alicia, you don't do color. What am I doing with this bright ass pink sweatshirt? I don't do color. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why do I have this hot ass yellow dress? Where am I going? I don't do color. But here I am trying to get with the fashions and the girls are saying, oh, melanin looks good with this and melanin looks good with that. No, no. I sent all those pieces back. And you guys know me. I normally do not send anything back because I'm lazy, okay? I packed that stuff up. This is me putting tape back on that bag and sent it right back to the store. I, and from that moment on, I said, Alicia, what works for you, stay in your wardrobe lane, okay? But make it, make it, make it you, okay? So that's all I'm gonna say. I would say this, if, like I said, if the girls are out here, I don't know, what's, what's in nowadays? These big ass platform shoes, I love them. I know a couple people that have them. Platforms left and right. If you don't know how to walk in heels, Keep your ass on the floor, okay? Mules, sneakers, sandals, 
block heels. Don't, don't be out here trying to reinvent the wheel because all the girls say it, okay? Don't, don't do that. You know what works for you. You know what you like. You know what you pull for. You know what you reach for. You know when you go into the store what tickles your fancy or what your eyes immediately gravitate to. Stick with that. Reinvent that wheel. And that's where I felt like I flourished as I said, okay, you know what? I still want to be in the know but I'm going to only buy and style what works for me and it's been the best revelation the best revelation in my arena this little slice of the world wide web so that's my last thing find what works for you and stay true to what works for you all right guys so I hope you have enjoyed this video um, as I said before I got a lot of comments about people saying you're gonna make me redo my whole entire closet and the last thing that I would want for you guys to do is to reinvent your entire closet based on my style but then we don't have the same style you know what works for you I tell people all the time go to Pinterest go to Instagram there are a ton of different style and fashion influencers that I follow but I literally only follow them for inspiration I cannot follow them like word like clothes for piece of clothing shirt for shirt dress for dress one because it's either too expensive or it's not in my color wheel but I like how they're putting certain fabrics and certain certain prints together so you know it works for you you know it doesn't work for you don't go out here getting broke okay we we are on the cusp it feels like it of a recession don't go out here doing all that for the sake of no clothes don't do it okay so if you have made it this far in the video you have not subscribed don't forget to subscribe like I said I will link I think I'm linking my outfit and I'm linking some white sneakers and I'm linking some timeless um, bags if I need to link anything else check the description box if it's not there leave it in the comment section and I will try to get a link for you so while you're here guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe um do all the things that the other youtubers tell you to do and i'm going to catch you guys thursday seven o'clock later